Hello everybody and welcome to Archibald Asks, where I, Archibald, ask questions of somebody from the Bible. Well, our very special guest today, that we have beamed up to our spaceship here, um, he's had quite the life. He's been a prince, a shepherd, a leader of a great people, and his favourite pastime seems to be going on rather long walks. <laughs> today, Archibald Asks, Moses! <laughs> Lovely to be here. Well, it's fantastic to have you here, so thank you very much for coming. Uh, uh, Moses, um, if I can call you Moses. Well, yes, that's my name. Excellent! Well, Moses, descendant of Abraham, I believe. Yes, he was my great, 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 great granddad. Yes, <laughs> perfect. And I think I'm right in understanding that you also had a really interesting childhood. Uh, maybe you could tell us all about that. Well... When I was born, the pharaoh is... Uh, he's the king, right? Oh, yes, he's like the king of Egypt. Oh, okay. Well, he didn't like my people, the Hebrews. Oh, how so? There were too many of us. Oh, so God's promise to Abraham to make him into a great nation was coming true. Yes, but pharaoh was scared. Mm. He made our people into slaves and us baby boys were put in danger. Yeah, so how did you survive? My mother was clever, and she put me in a basket in the river. And it just so happens that the pharaoh's daughter was walking past the river and noticed my basket. When she looked inside, she saw a baby. And then she wanted to look after me, so I grew up in the pharaoh's palace. <laughs> <laughs> but something happened that made you left. What was that? Yes, I did something that was going to get me into a lot of trouble, mm. so I ran away. <laughs> not very strong and courageous, what? No, not very strong and mm. courageous at all. Years later, I was looking after sheep in a country called Canaan. Yeah, Canaan. And it was there that you met the talking bush. Uh, well, yes, there was a bush and okay. it was on fire, but it wasn't burning. That's what got me interested as I approached. A voice spoke. Yeah. The bush spoke? No, it was God. He told me that he wanted me to go back to Egypt and tell Pharaoh to let God's people go. Now then, how did that make you feel? How do you think I felt? I was scared out of my sandals, which I wasn't wearing at the time, but... That's a different story. <laughs> okay. Um, so, I presume you politely said no to God and then just went on looking after your sheep. Uh, not exactly. No? I tried the best I could to give God all the reasons why I couldn't possibly go back to Egypt and tell the Pharaoh what to do. <laughs> but God had an answer for every excuse. In the end, I had to do what God said. So with my brother Aaron, we went to Pharaoh and told him to let God's people go. Yeah. So how did you manage that? I can't imagine talking to the Queen of England and even asking her to let one of her corgis go. <laughs> it's because God was with me. I couldn't do it without God. I'm not strong enough. But God is. Mm. Pharaoh tried to stand up to him, but every time God showed he was more and more powerful. In the end, God freed his people from slavery in Egypt and we started our journey to the land that God has promised us. God showed that he had the power to free people. But I think he was building to an even bigger escape. Yeah, really? Well, that is quite the story, isn't it? Uh, have you written a biography or anything like that that we can get hold of in the bookshops or in that, uh, what's that Rainforest Online store thing? Uh, I, I don't know, but you can read it in the book in the Bible. It's called Exodus. Oh, there's many more exciting stories in there. Yeah. Well, I will certainly go and be reading that. Mm. <laughs> well, thank you very much for coming on the show for Archibald Asks Moses. Until next time, everybody. Toodle pip!